And now time for the lamest product review in Spastastic TV history. Hello, I'm Spastastic. Welcome to Spastastic TV. Cleanly shaven Spaz, instead of having a mustache. But anyhow, what I'm looking at today is this little uh, goddamn studio lights. This little ceramic heater. And uh, the reason why I'm looking at this little ceramic heater, it's a solely... I got this at Walmart for 10 bucks, and I figured, uh, you know... It'd be nice to have a little, little, little space heater down in my basement. And, you know, you have all sorts of damn uses for it. And uh, since I'm in a basement, it's not really a finished basement. It's like a partially finished basement that never got finished because people were too goddamn impatient to let it get finished. So I took advantage of it and turned it into my studio. But anyhow, freaking, it does actually get kind of cold down here because, you know, like cold air falls, hot air rises because, you know, science. And so uh, I wanted to see how well this little 250 watt little space heater that costs 10 bucks from Walmart, you know, actually works. So I uh, guess I might as well get it down on the DV TV dinner tray and, uh, you know, go from there. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right. Now, normally I have a light that's on above me, but uh, I figure I might as well just do a little bit of an unboxing just right here as it sits. Open it up. It's supposed to look old school. Stop. Hold that in frame, I guess. Stop. Um... In the unlikely event you have a problem about this unit, call. Uh, for, I, I have the receipt. I can just take it back to Walmart. Off to the side you go into the disaster. But this thing's actually fairly heavy, believe it or not, which is kind of interesting. But as I was saying, I usually have a light that's above right here. But I figured when it comes to like something like a space heater, having that plugged in with the lights, give it a break, a kick a breaker, which is uh, also part of the reason why it also has a tip over switch on the bottom of it. I hate those things with a passion. They usually end up getting tape on them. But you got the little thing there, you got the cord, so got to do some editing. So, you know, I have it all of a sudden just plugged in and let you know if it freaking warms up the room or not. But I can tell you right now that this thing really smells very strongly of plastics. But yeah, as I was saying, though, the reason why I got 250 watt space heater is because I got studio lighting and everything down here. And it's not like the rest of my house where like the top outlet's on its own circuit and the bottom one's on its own. Um, the wiring down in this basement was done by freaking me and my dad. So uh, that's a thing. And as I was saying, it doesn't, it, 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 and on the box it says, I don't know why it was listed as a feature. It has one heat setting on. Ooh. That warms up quickly. A little metal grill in front of it. Is that metal? Yeah, the whole, the whole bottle, the little part of it's actually metal. A little outside, little. That's why I hate tip-over switches, because you can't move the damn things without them fucking up. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of these things, they do have a little temperature sensor on the inside, so if you have the back of it blocked for a period of time, it'll shut off so it doesn't overheat and melt down and burn your fucking house to the ground. Oh, damn, that puts off some pretty damn good heat, actually. Ow. So, yeah. That's a little $10 space heater from Walmart. I mean, the biggest thing I was also, I wanted to know how loud it was. I, now, the back part of it's plastic. Is it? I don't know. The yeah, back part's plastic. The front part of it's metal, it feels like. Probably is. It's probably plastic. Probably just repeat myself a bunch of times. But anyhow, yeah, that's fantastic. You know, if you figure this would make a good gift idea for somebody or something, you know, 10 bucks at Walmart. Um, thanks for watching.